Hi guys and welcome to Nick's Home Renovation. In this video I'm going to show you how I turn this dilapidated and falling down fence from this to this. In this video I'm going to show you how I save £2,300 on 165 foot of closed door fencing. I'm going to let you know where I bought everything, who I used to install it, uh, the price I paid for the closed door fencing, the concrete posts, I'll give you prices for gravel boards as well even though I didn't use those, just so you guys know what you should be paying at home. Before I start let's show you the before which was basically a fence missing here, different types of fences we went down from picket fences to different colour fences and I'll also show you a time lapse of the work. Um, you can use the scroll bar at the bottom to skip to any sections or I'll put in the description of this video where each bit is if you want to skip to that. Before I show you the new stuff let me show you what we've got here. So this is what it was. So the, this fence is all blown down in a recent heavy winds we had. We've got wainy board fencing here and it's very random. There's bits of gravel board here. So you've got a concrete gravel board here. It's a really small section. So maybe this was a bit weak at some point. As you can see right into my neighbor's house, which is why we need to sort this. And the wainy board continues, but no more gravel boards down here. And this garden is 165 foot. So it's a big job. We're doing the whole right hand side. The fence then transfers down to this smaller three foot fence. And then it even goes into a picket fence, which goes the whole way down to the bottom of the garden. So we've got some obstacles to deal with. So we've got lots of trees down here. Luckily my neighbors are giving me access to their garden as well to make it easier. Still goes all the way down. As I said, it's a very big garden. And it'll go eventually all the way down to the bottom. So the fence I've chosen, I'll take you towards it, is this brown fence you can see at the top of the garden here. I went for a dark brown closed board fence. I went for concrete posts on either side um, and then I've got the obviously the cement mix as well for the guys installing it. This is not a job for me, it needs a bit more of a technical skill. So this is the fence going in. I left this one out, so I think to be put at the end of the garden because it's got a slight bit of damage here. But this is what will be going in, so I've got 25 of these going from all the way from here, all the way down to the end. So 165 feet. So hopefully it takes a couple of days and I'll uh, look forward to showing you the finished result.
Right, let's show you the finished article. So, 165 foot of fencing in this garden, just on one side. But I'm really pleased how it looks. Went for the dark brown. As you can see, they fixed the first one to the edge of the garage. And then that was the line they took all the way down. So this was installed by a company called BR Stacy in the southeast. Um, they haven't paid me anything to promote them, but they are absolutely amazing. For those that saw my bungalow renovation when I had a bit of a bodge job, they came and fixed that. And I've used them ever since and they've been really, really good. Look how difficult it was back here in between the trees on the neighbor's garden and my garden. And look how good it looks. It steps down incrementally really nicely. Um, I was afraid that there's gonna be massive gaps with the concrete post at the top where this garden goes downhill so badly. But it just looks great. Look at that between all those trees there. I'm really pleased with how it looks. So I'll take you back up to the patio and give you some prices. So prices. So I use a company in the southeast called Orchard Building Supplies, and that's where I get my fence panels from. They're not paying me to promote them, but they are always the cheapest and most reliable in the southeast where I am. Um, the fence came in at £42 per panel. So this is a closed board fencing in brown. Um, to put that into perspective, home base for the same fence in the same colour comes in around £70. So you're already saving just on that. Two concrete posts either side, they were £16 each. And then for each concrete post you need cement mix for the guys. Um, and they usually used about a bag and a half, but a bag to a bag and a half per concrete posts. So that was five pounds each. That brings the whole thing in. So the two concrete posts, the cement mix bags and the closed ball fence panel at 79 pounds. And as I said, compared to home base at 70 pounds, it's a really good saving. Um, so that brought the whole fence in all the way down there, 165 foot at about 1800 pounds. Um, and then I used, I got a labor only quote, which cost 1900 pounds from a company called BR Stacy, also in the Southeast. And again, not promoting them, but they are amazing. Um, I've used them ever since you might've seen on my bungalow renovation when I had a bodge job on the fencing from someone I found on Checker Trade and they did an awful job. BR Stacy came in and fixed it and did an amazing job. And I've used them ever since. So I really recommend them. And that's how I saved £2,300. So I had three quotes before the work began for £6,000. And that was doing all the work, ordering all the materials and clearing all of the rubbish. I got that down to £3,700 by agreeing to remove the rubbish myself, which there's actually not that much. Um, there's a little bit of fencing down here to remove. There was only one gravel board in over there so nothing too heavy and not many concrete posts either most of them were wood so nothing's too bad either for that so for me doing a bit of the laboring myself and spending the time looking into ordering the materials and being there for delivery um, i also brought the fence panels into the back but i did leave the concrete post and the cement mix at the front save me over two thousand three hundred pounds so i'd really recommend looking into doing that because it's quite right that a company makes money on doing that because it does take time but that's a huge saving of you know over a third so i'd really recommend that and if you guys have any other recommendations like that i'd love to hear it as well i didn't go for gravel board so i just wanted to show you what a gravel board was it's something that goes on the bottom which i can show you over here it does make the fence sturdier so this fence line over here is not my fence but as you can see they put in gravel boards over here so this at the bottom here is a gravel board. I think you can get them in 150 mil or 300 mil. Um, and they basically, obviously they're concrete again, like the concrete posts. So they really make the fence nice and sturdy. Um, but I just think this looks so much more attractive, this side to that over there. Um, so that's what I went for. And hopefully this fence still lasts a good amount of time. Um, thanks to everyone for watching and subscribing. I'll be doing loads of videos throughout this renovation. Um, I've got some exciting ones coming up on a kitchen 
Um, I've purchased five kitchens from five different suppliers and we'll be rating them and telling you guys which is the best quality and the best price. So that's really exciting and there's lots more with the building work starting in about two weeks here as well. So I look forward to that and I'll see you soon.